I can do a quick little documentary video here. Well, I don't know how quick it's going to be. This is the $42 China brand Baofeng or Baofeng. Some people say Baofeng. I think Baofeng sounds cooler. If you can see that. B-A-O-F-E-N-G. $42 radio from China. It's a 2 meter and 70 centimeter band ham transceiver. And uh, I've got an issue with my speaker cutting out. See if you can hear it. It's a bit Frequency different. mode. Okay, there we go. Volume drop. That's it. Anyway, so I'm wondering if maybe it's just a loose solder point on the speaker. I went to the local radio shop and he said it's $90 an hour labor to work on something. I only paid $42 for the radio, so I'm going to see if maybe I can take it apart and maybe fix the loose solder point if that's what it is. So, since there's a lot of these out there because they're only $42. I know a lot of people have them. There's lots of YouTube videos of people showing demos of these. Um, what I haven't seen is a how to take it apart video or what it looks like on the inside. So we're going to give it a shot and see if we can't figure something out. So, all right, I'm going to get started. So I've gone ahead and removed the antenna, the battery, and the belt clip. And you see now we have these, what I believe to be torques. I have this little nifty little screwdriver bit set here. And the Torx bit seems to fit it. This one here, this little handy dandy Torx bit right here seems to go right in these funky delic screws. Like so. And so now, I'm just going to see what makes this thing tick. And I got the little driver handle here. Take the Phillips bit out that I use for the belt clip. Alright, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, mission accomplished. I got it apart. Now I don't see any loose wires though. It looks like the speaker wire is attached. I mean, they're not all that good as solder points maybe i should dab a little more solder on there but i don't know at first i didn't think i was going to be able to get it apart i'm like how the hell does it come apart you got to kind of pry it a little bit once you get all the screws out you got to pop the case out so yeah there's my keypad hope i can get that back in there <laughs> i don't think it'd be a problem so anyway yeah okay let me see what i can figure out Okay, so I couldn't really find any loose solder points, so I found what looked like to be a nick in the speaker wire right about here. It's put a little black tape on there. And there's a little black disc over the back of this speaker that I think is an anti-conductive. I put that back on there and also put some tape over that, because when it's closed up, the metal or the magnet, or both, of the speaker could actually touch the board right here about on this where the circle is, which could cause some intermittent, you know, shorting out with the board, so... I don't know. I can hold the battery on there right now, and I can't get the speaker to cut out. So maybe I eliminated the cutout problems, but we'll see when we uh, go to put her back together. So, and also, as I put it back together, I'll show you how I took it out of the case, too. I skipped that part, and that was kind of a pain in the butt, but it's possible. So anyway, yeah, I'll cover that as I'm putting it back together. Upon further review, I probably don't recommend taking this thing apart. Um, I am getting it back together. I, like I was mentioning in one of the videos, hold on a second. After you get to this point and you get the screws out to get the rest of the radio out, you gotta like stick something in here and pry the sides out and get it to pop out. The problem I have putting it back together now, and I did manage to uh, pull the, both the speaker's wires off in the process of putting it back together, but I did resolder them. Um, having a hell of a time getting the button to line up. I think the talk button's gonna work. Just gotta push really hard now because I don't think it's quite lined up right. So, yeah, and I think the speaker's probably still going to cut out now that it's back together. So I'm probably going to wind up just going on the website and buying a new one for $42. But we'll see. I think this one is still work. It's just still going to have the same speaker problem, I think. But, I don't know, maybe get a headphone for it or an external speaker and use it as a scanner, maybe. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, all right, let me put it back together and we'll wrap up the video. Alright, upon conclusion of the video, I did get it back together. Channel mode. And still got the speaker glitch issue. Um, the push to talk button is really hard to push, but I think it'll work. Let's see. Maybe we can get, her to get the repeater to respond. Maybe. Hold on, I gotta use the other hand. See what I mean? I shouldn't take it apart, because now my push to talk button is really hard. Or not. Oops, I hit the FM radio. Hey, FM works. Yeah, see, it's really hard to push the button now. There, the 
repeater responded, so it is working. It's just a pain in the ass to push. Okay. Push to talk works. It's just not um, really easy to push. <laughs> but um, other than that, I got it back together. Um, pretty sure the alarm will work. Oops. I don't think I was transmitting the alarm over the repeater. I hope not. <laughs> uh. Frequency mode. Alarm, alarm, alarm. Anyway, this concludes the video of taking apart the Baofeng UV5R. Again, I don't recommend it. Um... It still works. I don't think I fixed my speaker problem, so I'll probably still wind up buying another one for 40 bucks. So anyway, alright. That's it. Have a good day.